welcome to my channel look at this integral we have algebraic function over here now and then something this raised to pi we have pi over here okay now what we can do is we can do by rationalize but it will be very much lengthy over here now what i will do is i will use by substitutions hyperbolic substitutions i will use x equals to sine square hyperbolic substitution why because I have, we know that cos square hyperbolic x minus sine of hyperbolic square x equals to 1. Okay. Now, let's, if I substitute, now if I substitute x equals to, x equals to, okay, sine, okay, if I, I substitute hi, sine of hyperbolic square p, Okay, if I substitute x equals to hyperbolic square t, then from here what we'll get, uh, what we'll get is from here what is sine hyperbolic t? Okay, uh, from here cos of hyperbolic square x equals to one plus sine of hyperbolic square x. Now if I want to remo remove square, then I can have to take square root on both sides. This okay, therefore one plus 1 x plus 1 or 1 plus x is what this will be cos hyperbolic square okay or you can say we can keep like this okay for time being let's do like this from here from here what is t okay now squaring on both sides while well, i get x square equals to taking square root on both sides I, if i want to remove base square root of x equals to 1 sine of hyperbolic t therefore okay Therefore, t equals to sine of hyperbolic inverse root of x. Okay, from this t equals to this. Okay. <clears throat> now, from here, what is dx? Okay, differentiation of dx equals to what? Is to sine of hyperbolic t, and then differentiation of sine is what? Cos of hyperbolic t okay into dt we have okay now we have dx in terms of dt okay in terms of t dt let's substitute over here okay therefore this is same as integral x plus 1 okay x plus 1 is a square root of what is x we x is what sine of hyperbolic square t plus 1 minus square root of sine of hyperbolic square t into now what is dx 2 sine of hyperbolic t cos hyperbolic t into dt okay dx is in terms of this okay is equals to sine hyperbolic square plus 1 is what cos hyperbolic square okay now cos hyperbolic square and square is get cancel we have cos of hyperbolic t minus sine hyperbolic square and square root gets cancelled we have sine of hyperbolic t into okay these two we have sine of hyperbolic t into cos of hyperbolic t into dt okay remember what is sine hyperbolic t and cos hyperbolic t in terms of e okay we have this formula we have sine of hyperbolic t cos of hyperbolic t in terms of this is what e raised to minus this since it is t so t plus e raised to uh, minus t here plus t upon 2 is equals to e raised to t minus e raised to minus t upon 2 let's use this over here okay let's use everything over here and let's see what are the terms which we can get cancelled this equals to integral what is cos okay cos we have e raised to t plus e raised to minus t upon 2 minus e raised to t minus e raised to minus t upon 2 into twice sine is what e raised to t uh, minus e raised to minus t upon 2 into e raised to t into e raised to minus t upon 2 dt okay 
here I will do some shortcut over here this into this now if I take LCM okay if I take LCM over here what I'll get I'm taking LCM over here then these two will be hold down okay or you can say so let's write one step e raised to t plus e raised to minus t minus okay here e raised to t minus minus plus e raised to minus t upon 2 okay now is there any some term which you get cancel yes this term gets cancel into what we have 2 you can say these two and these two gets cancel these two and these two gets cancel we have these two is over here these two is over here now it is only a minus b into a plus v okay what we have a minus b into a plus b is what a square minus b square okay therefore this is e raised to t the whole square means what e raised to twice t minus e raised to minus twice t dt okay now we have, we forgot over here pi is there okay here we have pi here we have pi we have we have pi here also we have pi okay now this is equals to integral now e raised to minus t e raised to minus t is twice twice e raised to minus t upon 2 raised to pi okay. and 2 this is integral into 2 e raised to e raised to 2t minus e raised to minus 2t dt okay now here we have 2 2 gets cancelled we can send this pi inside e therefore this is equals to so if I send pi inside over here, pi over here, what I'll get is e raised to minus pi t and this 2 I am sending out. This is 2 into, okay. Now this, this into this is what into e raised to 2t minus e raised to minus pi t into e raised to minus 2t, okay. Now if base are same, you can add the indices. Here we have 2 integral of, if I take t common, here I will get 2 minus pi t minus e raised to here. If I take uh, minus common here, 2 pi t, let's see. Minus here will be plus over here, okay. Here minus minus all minus. Now this is what integral with respect to t. Now let's integrate this with respect to t is same as 2 e raised to 2 minus pi t upon differentiation of this with respect to t means what? 2 minus pi minus. Okay. Here 2 is outside. We have is e raised to minus 2 plus pi t. Differentiation of this is what we will get minus minus plus 2 plus pi plus c. What is t? Okay. t substitute this. Okay. e raised to 2 minus pi t means what? Sin hyperbolic. Sin hyperbolic inverse root x upon 2 minus pi plus e raised to minus 2 plus pi sin hyperbolic inverse root x upon 2 plus pi plus some constant c okay this is a requirement so you can keep or you can take this common uh, you can take this common or you can keep like this 